We got several questions on our furnace installation video about the return air, uh, so I thought I'd address that here. Obviously we did talk about the combustion air which is drawn in and then exhausted straight outside through the grill on the exterior and we did talk about that. But uh, there is a blower motor that blows the hot air into the house and that air needs to come from somewhere. So if we're moving air you know, out this way it needs to get into the unit into the back somehow. And it is actually built into the way that we've got the gaps around it uh, and it's all I checked over the, the manual and everything to make sure that we were uh, following the right specifications. And basically this gap around the perimeter of the unit is where the air goes in, it gets pulled into the back, enters the unit, heats up through the heating element and then comes out the front. And the grill is designed to accommodate that as well. There's all the slots where the hot air is going to come out and then basically these uh, sort of channels around the outside when it's when it's sitting up uh, in its final position allow the air to come in and get into that space around there. There's also specifications for if there was an obstruction nearby like if the unit was turned sideways or next to a wall or something or even a cabinet if there was something uh, within a certain proximity of the side here and or if there was something uh, close to the front that would change the nature of the airflow when the unit was on. It would be blowing and all the hot air would be kind of turning and it wouldn't be getting enough fresh, cooler air uh, able to come in through the sides. So if, if any of those uh, were the case, we would have to, uh, as per the specifications, cut a certain amount of area uh, through the, the case and then make sure that a f there's a clean path for the air to come through. So we might even have to uh, have run ducting through the cabinet to a spot away from basically where the, the hot air is coming out. But uh, that's not the case because like I said, we have the way that our cabinets are, there's no obstructions or anything. So the gap around here is perfectly adequate to allow the unit to operate within the specifications. We put links to this exact product in the description if you want to go check out like the model and all the other details about it. If you want to see some of our previous videos, click on the preview tiles and subscribe if you want to follow our progress. You can also visit our website here.